Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. My apologies if I get a little congested sounding, nasally sounding in this video. Um, I'm trying to still get over um, kind of feeling under the weather earlier this week. I'm feeling so much better than what I was, but um, you can still hear it and it sounds worse than it is. But um, anyways, so I made a video, I wanna say it was about a week ago, I made a video on professional printing services for your candle labels versus printing them at home. Now, printing them professionally was always something that I always wanted to do, but I thought that it would kind of be a waste of money because I have a pretty good printer here that I purchased and invested for that purpose. But I thought, you know, I really just wanna try it out. So what I did was I went on to online labels and I just ordered a couple of sheets of one of the scents and I wanted to see what it looked like and if there really is a difference between the way that I printed it and the way that they printed it. And overall, I have to say, they're so similar. They look almost identical and if you didn't know um, to look for any differences, you probably wouldn't be able to. I am going to pull them closer to the camera so you can see, but basically what I noticed the biggest difference on is that the one that they printed, the color from the image is way more accurate. So what I noticed with my printer is that no matter what, the color that it shows on the monitor, on the computer, it always comes out darker when I print it out on my printer. So that is what I notice on mine is that it's darker. So the line right here is darker. And then the little icon that I use, the little VW bus for this example, which trips to nowhere is what I had used to try to figure this out and see. So that image right there comes out darker. I wonder if you can tell the difference on these ones. I was trying to see if this would even be able to show the difference. You can kind of see that's a little bit lighter right there. And the other differences that I definitely noticed is um, it's absolutely in the center perfectly on this one. On this one, because I don't know if any of you also deal with this issue using Maestro Label Designer, which is online labels design software. I don't actually use them to design. I design in Canva. I export out the image and then I align it kind of in Maestro. But the only thing about it is there's always more of a gap on the left-hand side. So I try to tab over a couple times to see if I can get it in the center. This one is definitely like smack dab in the center. This one has a little bit more room on the left-hand side over here. And the other things that I had noticed was, for instance, on this line right here, and again, I'm gonna see, it's very hard to show on camera, but I'm gonna see if I can try. So on here, the line kind of has like, it has more, you're not gonna be able to see it. It's, it's so hard to see, but basically you can take my word for it that the line isn't very solid. It's kind of like pixely in a way, but you wouldn't be able to tell until you like really looked close up at it. And then the VW bus on this one, the image is a little bit more not as legible as the one that they printed on here. When I look at this one, it's definitely more legible. But what I decided to do to show you, if you can see the difference, I'm curious if you can see the difference, because you're probably just like, Erica, there's literally no difference. Um, and even like the touch of them, like when I was feeling them, this one, the one that they have is definitely smoother. The one that I have is not as smooth and that's the whole thing is I wanna actually see if I can rub this off because on some of my labels, some of them have been rubbed off. So if that is something that doesn't happen when I get it professionally printed from them, that's like honestly would be the biggest reason on why I would actually switch over and have them do it and pay the extra, I think it's like 10 cents is what I figured out is what it would actually cost me in increase per label to have them print it. All right, so here's a side-by-side. -side. This is pretty much the best I can do to try to show you. So the left is the one that I print, the right is the one that they print. So you can see that the one on the right is definitely more of like that greenish teal color, and the one on the left is a little bit more of that darker blue. So on my website, I'll kind of pop up a picture so you can see that the one on the right, I believe, is more accurate to the one on the website versus this one. And this, and I know that that's such a small thing, 
but it's definitely noticeable to me. And that was one thing with my printer that I noticed that I didn't like. And it's more clear, it's smoother. And again, if it doesn't rub off, then I may actually switch over and just have them printed out. Honestly, going into filming this video, I'm like, oh yeah, there's no reason. But I mean, if it if it's nicer, if it doesn't rub off, if the color's more accurate, if it's more crisp, then it's definitely worth it. This is the same paper that I use. So this is the 2.5 inch by three inch weatherproof polyester laser labels. That's a mouthful. So this is um, the exact same ones. So thinking about it now and kind of going over in this video, I'm like, you know what? I may actually very much consider and I may order some more, uh, which I should have done honestly, because you can switch out the designs. I don't know why I didn't. I just was trying to test it out, but I should have done it with other designs so that I could really see. And I may actually order another one with multiple different designs so I can see. But this is the update on this. Again, um, I've been feeling a little under the weather. I'm going to try to film my podcast video for this week, but honestly, I may give myself a little bit of a break because even talking in this video, I can feel my asthma really kicking up and it's a little hard to uh, to talk, but it's okay. It's I feel much better than, than I did. Um, but anyways, about the label. So this is pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, I really liked hearing all of your opinions and kind of what you are doing with your candle labels as well. A lot of good ideas in the comment section. So I appreciate that. Um, but with that, I'm gonna end today's video right here. If you enjoyed it, leave it a, a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.